we're going to be working on thrusters. Not So Average Builder is brought to you by these great retailers. There will be promo codes in the description below. Hey guys, Tom here, and this is Not So Average Builder. Also, a little bit of masking. Can't really tell on here, but uh, the rings for the back pistons, mask those off, and those are also gonna be brass. I wanted very little chrome on this kit, so I'm gonna do the pistons in the chrome, and I'm probably gonna use this stuff because it works really well through an airbrush. Um, but that's not the goal of today. We're gonna be talking about this stuff. I've never used this before. I've heard really good things about it. I've heard that it even uh, tarnishes or weathers like realistic metal because there is little metal flakes in here. Now that being said, if you're gonna airbrush this stuff, for the love of everything, and I stress this all the time about airbrushing period, but use a respirator. But with this, if you don't use a respirator, chances are you're, you're just slowly killing yourself even quicker I know that's kind of a double negative, slowly killing yourself quicker. Uh, but with little metal flakes in here, you don't want to inhale those things. You don't want to inhale any of the chemicals you use when airbrushing, regardless whether it's acrylics, enamels, or lacquers. But this stuff has metal in it. Don't inhale this. Use a respirator. I will say it again. Use a respirator. Okay, now the fun stuff. So I chose brass on this because the color scheme that I'm going for is that 70s Gulf Oil Ford GT 40 style paint job. And on those cars, they had brass knockoffs. If you don't know what a knockoff is, this is what they are. Little tri-wing things that are actually locked the wheels onto the hub. And they called them knockoffs because you actually had to use a hammer to knock them off to spin them off in the counterclockwise fashion to get the wheel off. It was a really cool thing, but they were brass. So why not, since I'm using that style color scheme, use a brass. And that way I can also talk to you guys about the Mr. Metal Color stuff and see how it goes. Now, per the norm on this channel, I've barely used this. Actually, I've never used this. So we're gonna find out together how well this works. If you've used this stuff before and you know some tips and tricks, drop a comment down below. I'm always up to learn new things, new techniques, the proper ways to do things. I'm learning as I go. That's how the fun of it is. So I'll stop rambling on, let's jump into this. So I forgot to film putting this in here because I'm an idiot, uh, but this stuff is really thin. This is in the pot, no thinner whatsoever. I almost made a huge mess because I was going to use my Badger and I did use it and it created a vortex and slung paint up over the top. Uh, luckily I cleaned it up. It, wasn't, it was a very little spill, but I don't know about the other colors, but this brass, you don't need to thin. It is ready to go right out of the pot. Once you get that painted and it dries, you're left with a semi-dull, semi-shiny finish, right? You take just an ordinary Q-tip, and I don't know if it's going to show up on camera or not.
you see where I've shined it up. This stuff does really well. Now, some of the other ones are going to do better than others, which is a given. So the brass is a good solid color. It doesn't necessarily polish up as well. Um, I may need to use like a polishing compound or something. Um, I don't know. According to the instructions that I found online is that you spray it on, wait till it dries, and then you take a Q-tip or a soft cloth or pad and buff it and it will bring out a metallic sheen. I myself kind of like the rough textured brass look, but I think overall it turned out pretty well. So let me go ahead and assemble what I can of the inner frame and I'll show you what it looks like so far. So here's how it stands. All the slight inner frame weathering that I wanted to do is done. Next week, we're gonna start on the armor bits on this. So the next video, we're gonna start on the armor bits. And I think that I'm gonna do the smaller bits first, like the reds, the blues, and the grays. And we're gonna progress through this build and kind of show you my breakdown of how I do things. Uh, I currently have them all separated out by weapons and shield, so on and so forth. But I think I'm just gonna mix it up and change my style and do it by color because there's not a whole lot of things on this kit that look very similar to one another that would cause me to mess up. Have a wonderful day. Bye.